We are in need for our coffee and donut program on Sunday mornings. Parishioners or parish groups interested in volunteering are invited to sign up through our website or contact the parish office. The next available date is October 28th. Sacred Heart Parish School Golf Tournament will be Friday, October 12th at Riverwalk Golf Club. There will be prizes for the best dressed, best cart decorations, and much more. Everyone is invited to participate. If you have questions, please visit the tournament committee members in the parish hall after mass. Join us in the parish hall after mass for our ministry fair. Many of our parishioners will be present to share about what they do in our parish. Bonus, free coffee and donuts. Please check the bulletin for our website for contact information or other details on these activities and other parish events. And now for our liturgy. Today we celebrate the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider is Father Sheehan and he is assisted by Deacon Drakenberg. Let us rise and sing together our opening hymn, which you will find in your blue hymnals, number 557, Send Down the Fire. That's 557. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With we extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you this beautiful Sunday morning for our celebration of the Eucharist. We always welcome, of course, our parishioners and visitors to the church, and also those following the celebration on live streaming. Modern life has brought us closer together than ever before. We influence one another in all sorts of ways. God wants us to be stepping stones for one another. Unfortunately, sometimes we are stumbling blocks for one
one another. Let's call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the cancer of our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power, above all, by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The children who are going out for the liturgy of the word for children, if you'd like to please come forward. <coughs> okay, children, liturgy of the word for children. That's great. Terrific, terrific. This is God's word. Lisa, receive the word of God and proclaim it diligently to the children. Children, listen very, very attentively to the good news of salvation. Sing the praise of the Lord and come back to join us for the second part of the Mass, the Liturgy of the Eucharist, and for the final blessing. Go in peace.
A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to Moses. Taking some of the spirit that was on Moses, the Lord bestowed it on the 70 elders. And as the spirit came to rest on them, they prophesied. Now two men, one named Eldad and the other Midad, were not in the gathering, but had been left in the camp. They too had been on the list, but had not gone out to the tent. Yet the Spirit came to rest on them also, and they prophesied in the camp. So when a young man quickly told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp, Joshua, son of Nun, who from his youth had been Moses' aide, said, Moses, my Lord, stop them. But Moses answered him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the people of the Lord were prophets. Would that the Lord might bestow his spirit on them all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. James. Come now, you rich, weep and wail over your impending miseries. Your wealth has rotted away. Your clothes have become moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have corroded. And that corrosion will be a testimony against you. It will devour your flesh like a fire. You have stored up treasure 
for the last days. Behold the wages you withheld from your workers who harvested your fields are crying aloud. And the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on earth in luxury and pleasure. You have fattened your hearts for the day of slaughter. You have condemned. You have murdered the righteous one. He offers you no resistance. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. For whoever is not against us is for us. Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, amen, I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin it would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna. Where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. The Gospel of the Lord. to see everybody here this morning. Beautiful morning, the last day of September, the last day of September. As we mentioned at the beginning of the celebration of the Eucharist, modern life with its latest technology brought us closer together than ever before. We 
influence one another in all sorts of ways. Whether we are <coughs> aware of it or not, we are stumbling blocks in the paths of others. Or we are stepping stones for them on the way to salvation. We're either stumbling blocks or stepping stones. Here are some of the ways we can be stumbling blocks or a scandal to others on the way to salvation. <clears throat> We're all, <coughs> all aware of the church's problems at this time, where some clergy and religious have been a stumbling block in the lives of children or youth or adults. And with God's help and grace, there can be healing and wholeness, and we can be more, we can move along on the way to salvation, a stumbling block. It's another name for a scandal. We can be a stumbling block to others when we fail to understand their weakness, mistakes, and sins, and write them off as a result. We can be stumbling blocks. We can be a stumbling block to others when we are unkind and treat, treat them unkindly. We can make them feel small and damage their self-confidence. And that, that can happen. We can be a stumbling block to others because they do not live up to our expectations. We hurt their pride and damage their self-image. You know, all these things can happen even in families, in communities, in places of work, in the government, I guess, in Hollywood, everywhere. We can be stumbling blocks to other people on the way to salvation. Now we can also be stepping stones for others on the way to salvation, stepping stones. When I was a kid growing up, there was what they called a mass path, a mass path. It was from a neighbor's home, the neighbors, a number of neighbors actually, and there was a path and went across a fence and a stream and uh, on the way, a shortcut to the church. So it was called a mass path, a mass path. And the thing about the mass path was that <clears throat> if it was raining the night before, there'd be a lot of water. But there were stepping stones. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, I believe. And the water would be up around the stepping stones. And you you really had to hit the stone, you know, to stay, to stay safe. And then when you got to the fence, there were three more steps, one, two, three. And then you got across, and you continued along on the mass path. Easy. I presume it's still there. But anyhow, stepping stones, the point I'm getting here is stepping stones. It helped you to get across the water. And that was very, very good. We can be stepping stones for others when we support them in moments of weakness and doubt. Think of your own family, think of communities, think of college, think of school, whatever. 
We can be stepping stones for others when we give them a belief in themselves and help to boost their self-confidence. And some people are very good at that. They bring out the best in people. They bring out the best in people. They're stepping stones for, for that person. We can be stepping stones for others when they themselves feel inadequate. And we help them discover the special talents that God has given them. Everybody is gifted by God in various ways. And sometimes they don't discover their talents until somebody else points them out for them. And that's good. That's very important. <clears throat> we can, um, these are just a presentation. There was a presentation in the parish hall yesterday morning. It was a breakfast for the men of the parish. There were about 30 people there, 30 men. And a gentleman by the name of um, Joe Gilbreth, who founded the Rise Up Industries. How many here have heard, heard of the, the Rise Up Industries? Very good, very good, very good. The Rise Up Industries, you know what it is? Preventing young men getting into gangs. And if they are in gangs, to try to intervene and get them out of the gangs and help them to be renewed. And uh, their special retreats is called Kairos. They do them in prisons. And very often, these uh, men go through a whole conversion process. And they're able to come out through this special <coughs> process and come back into society and get jobs, et cetera, et cetera. It's amazing. Wasn't that amazing yesterday morning? I was amazed. There were about 30 men at the parish there. Great breakfast and uh, this presentation. It was very, very encouraging. So it, it really fits in with what I'm trying to say. We can be stepping stones to others on the way to salvation. This morning we're having a um, <coughs> ministries fair out in the parish hall. And uh, did you hear the announcement? Did you hear about the free coffee and donuts? <laughs> Okay, don't get free coffee and donuts and run. <laughs> you must look around. A lot of these things that are out there in the hall are stepping stones. Stepping stones to help people on the way to salvation. Stepping stones. You need to think about that. Great opportunities. The Lord is speaking to all of us here this morning. And we're called <coughs> not to be stumbling blocks to others, not to be stumbling blocks, but to be stepping stones to help ourselves and others on the way to salvation. The Lord is saying to us today, if you have done any of these things for me, that's it. you are a light to me. In my darkness, you are a sign for me in my moments of doubt. You are a bridge for me over troubled waters. You make it easier for me to enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said in the gospel this morning that was just proclaimed, <coughs> if you give someone a cup of water in my name, you will be rewarded. Just a cup of water, a cup of water. A cup of water. If you give somebody a cup of water, in the name of Christ, you will be rewarded. In this Mass this morning, may the good Lord spiritually nourish us all.
that you and I can be stepping stones for others on the way to salvation. Think about it. Let so us all now stand and profess our faith by praying the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In a spirit of faith and confidence, let us present our petitions to God, our gracious Father. For the church, that the Lord will help us overcome sin, cleanse us from our unknown faults, and bring joy to our hearts in serving him. Let us pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. For all who labor in difficult circumstance, that they may receive a fair wage and be treated with justice and dignity. Let us pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. For openness to the invitations of the Spirit, that we may welcome God's action in our own lives and recognize that the same Spirit is at work in the lives of all whom God calls. Let us pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, Dwayne Chickasola, Maureen Gallagher, that they may receive the care they need and refreshments for their souls. Let us pray to the Lord, hear my prayer. For all who have died, Lorenzo Rosas, that faith and mercy lead them to the fullness of the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers we offer from the silence of our hearts. Entrusting all to the Spirit of God. Let us pray to the Lord, hear Today's the prayer for vocations inside the cover of your missiles, the red one or the blue one. Let's pray together. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us, us to be obedient, obedient servants, servants as you were obedient in loving response to your, to your Father's love. love. Bless, bless us with holy bishops, religious deacons and priests to image your presence, presence among us. us and to be signs of your love in the world. Help us to embrace the mission you have entrusted to them in lines of fidelity, holiness, and compassion. And we ask this through the intercession of Mary, our mother. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. While the gifts on the altar are being prepared, let us sing number 810, Let Justice Roll Like a River. That's number 810.
My sisters and brothers pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, to whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread.
bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, John, his auxiliary, the clergy, religious, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Jameson, this great here. Take 
of the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us sing number 751, The Servant Song. That's number 751.
Our second hymn is number 792, The Love of the Lord. That's number 792. stand and pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ 
to whose suffering we are united, forever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. You're invited to the parish hall after mass to visit the ministry fair, the various things that are happening in the parish. And um, you might find something there that helps you to be a stepping stone for others on the way to salvation. And uh, as we said already, there's free coffee and donuts. So the earlier you get there, the better. We wish everybody a blessed day and enjoy this beautiful sunshine that the Lord has sent us on this day. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. Let us end this celebration by singing number 901 for the life of the world. That's number 901. <laughs>